with somebody. We obviously have film on us because of the Arkansas game, and um, you have to go on what's you know what they did last year. But you also got to be prepared for anything happening, and just you know they, they're, they're going to press, they're going to mix up their zone and their man, um, and you, you just got to do a good job of playing basketball and moving the basketball, especially when they're mixing up their defenses. But they do a good job. He's, he's a good coach. And, um, you know, they've they, they got a lot of new personnel, but everybody has a lot of new personnel. And that's, that's kind of the way college basketball is now. But, you know, they're a well-coached team and they play hard. And they have very good scheme in terms of pressing, zone pressing, man pressing, running and jumping, trapping. They do a lot of different things um, to make you think. Is this one of those games you kind of seek out because of their style of play? You always want your team to yeah. see a lot of different things early in the year. Well, they won their league. You know, you want to play teams. You know, our first two, you know, games we played, both of those teams won their league. And then obviously Xavier and Sean Miller are, you know, a very, very good program. It's going to be – all of them are going to be tough games. But, you know, you want to play successful programs. You know, you want to get – you know, where you're challenged, you want to get to where you have different styles that you mentioned, um, because you you know, you can't, when you get into those MTEs and you get into the NCAA tournament, like, you know, you can't pick who you play, you know, it's not conference basketball, it's not non-conference basketball, you know, now you win a game, now you have one opponent, now you lose a game, you have another opponent in those MTEs, so it becomes a little bit different, but you're just trying to get your team ready to play and then improve your team from game to game. Will it be the same starting lineup? Yes. And then with them, they've got a uh, transfer Graziani 5A kid. Mm -hmm. Is that something you guys look to attack on the offensive ends? Not really. He's a good player. I I know his previous coach at Nova Southeastern, they won the national championship. I've heard him speak at a couple clinics. And um, but just watching his clips, you know, he's shifty, can break you down, can shoot off the dribble, knows how to play. Um, that change of direction, change of speed. So we got to do a good job of, you know, not just him, but you know, we got to do a good job of keeping their guards in front of us. After uh, two exhibitions, you have a pretty good idea where Cam and Miles fit in at this point, or is that still a process? Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a process. It's the numbers, you know, more than anything. Like you know, who can you know really help us? I think Cam has, has put himself in a good position in, in, in comparison, just because you know defensively and rebounding. Obviously, they both can make shots, um, but just kind of, you know, learning the system and, you know, him being here for two years. But, you know, both of those guys got a chance to, to really help us this year. But it'll be interesting to see all things unfold. I think things will be different with different styles, but I also think it's, you know, they're both really good players. So if they can get some minutes and, and, and be productive in those minutes, you know, I, I definitely think, you know, that will enhance and, and they'll get more of an opportunity. Miles is absolutely playing then, right? What's that? Miles is absolutely playing them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At this point last season, I know you were using an 11 player rotation in the, in the scrimmages and the exhibition yeah. games, and you said something like, you uh, trust seven guys, play six. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like. I you, was joking. When I said that. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like you. Fe- but you mentioned trust again, kind of in the press yes. conference. Do you feel like you found those guys that you trust in these last few no, exhibition games? I, I think you're still in, in that spot. I think you feel good about the people that have played for you before. And you're just uncertain, like those guys that they mentioned, you know, Miles and uh, you know Cam. You know, they're, you know they're going to be good players. Like when are they going to be good players? Probably when they get more of an opportunity. So they got to get out there in short minutes and be able to be productive so they can get more minutes. They got to be better in practice against people because it's all relative, right? You know, it, it's the competition in practice and the improvement in practice that you see. Um, so it's just not them; it's everybody. I think that's going to be kind of the telltale. Ethan had uh, zero shots against Arkansas, two against Grace College. Do you feel like he's playing within the flow of the offense, or you want him to be a little more aggressive? I just want him to take whatever comes his way. Like, you know, just take what the defense gives you. Um, More than anything, just do a lot of little things for us, whether it's guarding, rebounding, understanding what's going on. Just, you know, just play to your strengths. I I thought he passed up on a shot that he should have taken um, in the Grace game. Um, yeah, but just, you know, be about winning. He's about winning. And uh, just, you know, he's going to play a lot of different spots, a lot of different positions. Um, so just kind of giving us as a blue guy, you know, what we need in each game. Is he your backup point guard right now or is Lance? I would say Lance is. I, I think he can get in there and run the point uh, when people press and people do different things. I think he's, you know, he's more suited to two and three, giving us that second and third ball handler. 
instead of being a primary ball handler mm -hmm. against guys that are going to do all the things that they do. Do you feel like you know what your best offense and defense lineup is right now? Um, no. No, because you're, you're kind of just waiting um, to see how things happen against different styles. You know, it's such a broad question. Right. Um, because I, I think you can be better with certain people uh, against different styles and vice versa. It's trying to get the right pieces together. And sometimes you, you have those lineups that are just, that's your best lineup no matter who you're playing, right? And maybe that's the case. You, you just don't know yet. I think time will tell, you know, you know who's best for us. My apologies. This you're good. Has been asked, uh, we were out. Uh, do you have a connection with Buffy, or you know, how did you end up with Sam on the schedule? No, uh, I don't. I've never met her. So, just you know, wanting to play good programs. They won their league last year. Um, I know one of their, their assistants. We played him when he was a Division II head coach, Danny Young, and uh, one of my former guys that I was an assistant and head coach in Southern Illinois was his assistant. So that's how we ended up playing him when he was a Division II coach at Montevallo. And now he's the assistant there. So we had talked. And, uh, but we were really just searching out, you know, you know, good programs, like teams that have been successful. So obviously they won their league. Morehead State won their league. Xavier's been great, you know, for a long, long time. I know that gets assigned for us, but that's just, that's our first three games, you know, before we go, you know, and, and play in the Mallard. So... Um, how do you feel about your mix of the four right now? Uh, Trey starting, Mason finished yeah. at Arkansas. Caleb's playing in there a little bit still, isn't he? Yeah, love it, love it. You got a lot of options. You know, I think each one of them would like to play more. I know they would like to play more. You know, we have a very deep front line. And, uh, you know, just keep looking at it, keep watching, keep trying to help them. And then, uh, you know, I think it's going to be like whoever's playing well. No matter who starts, I think you know Mason played more against Arkansas. Um, you know he played better. You know, Trey had turned the basketball over. You know Caleb played more at the five, um, but you know he got minutes. Everybody got minutes, but I, I think in that group of guys right there, there's always going to be one guy that you walk away each game. You know they got eight minutes, they got 12 minutes, they got 14 minutes, but they need to get more minutes. You know I think we're going to say that the whole season. When you look at your roster, how many future NBA players do you think you have? Is that, is that something you want your program to hang its head on? Sure, sure. You want guys to, do, you know, we've been more development. You know, obviously we've had three guys leave early and go to the pros. Um, but the other guys that have been drafted are the guys that have played in the NBA that they've stayed their whole, you know, four years and sometimes five years. So, yeah, you want those guys to develop. And I think what we have at Purdue is kind of special because education is a big piece of it. So it's, you know, having two dreams, having one through education, having one through basketball. So we've had a lot of balance, and I think that's where you see our ability to keep guys. I think we have a good relationship with our players, and we're honest with them, even when they're tough conversations. But also, like, when you come here, you want to get your degree from Purdue University and have that balance. There's so many people just running and transferring and making a lot of decisions based simply on basketball, and they're nowhere close to being a pro. You know, and so like they're making basketball decisions and they should be making education decisions because education is going to take you a lot longer than basketball outside of the 1%. Now, when you coached at Southern, obviously the, the Valley was a good league back then, but yeah. when you're at a small school and you get a chance to play a, a top notch program, right. how do you spin that to your guys that, hey, this is an opportunity to really make our team here? No, it's, it's everything. You know, because you know, those guys didn't get offered by high major schools. The majority of them, they had some transfers that have been in high major schools, but. You know, a lot of them, you know, it's proving ground. You know, they want to get and prove that they belong. They want to get on a, a big stage. You're playing a nationally ranked team and, and play. So, you know, our guys understand that. But if our guys don't understand that, what we went through, then they need to take up a different sport. You know, because, like, think about all of our experiences that we've had. We've had a lot of success, but we've had some, you know, we've had some, some heart, heartbreakers, you know, in the NCAA tournament. So, like, that's what we're trying to foil and be better. So if they're going into this game thinking that these guys are just okay, then they've earned the wrong locker.